Hello and welcome back to Beckler Guitars and Repairs and today we're checking out a Players Plus Stratocaster in Cosmic Jade. Let's have a look. All right, so yeah, the finish on this guitar is awesome. It's that really nice metallic, super green finish. They call it Cosmic Jade, and it looks great. It really stands out, really eye-catching, and it looks good from every angle. The light just catches it really nicely. So yeah, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous finish on this guitar. And uh, there's a lot of really cool features on this guitar, so let's... Uh, have a quick look here. So we've got our two-point tremolo system, which is nice. Um, this has a five-way switch. It's got a Fender humbucker, player plus humbucker, in the uh, bridge position. Uh, this is also splittable, so you can split that into a single coil to be more like a regular Strat, or you can use it as a humbucker, which makes uh, for some nice versatility. And then we have the Player Plus Fender Noiseless pickups in the middle and the neck position. Uh, the radius on this guitar is different. It's a, it's a 12, so it has the same radius as like a Gibson, which is a little bit different for Fender. We've got medium jumbo frets. We've got black dot inlay markers and a maple neck. Yeah, it's a one-piece maple neck, so that means it, uh, it's got the skunk stripe on the back there. And uh, yeah, so 12-inch radius, we've got our medium jimbo frets, and we've got rolled edges on the fingerboard. So what that means is, is they've taken the time to roll these edges, and it just makes it feel like a more worn in guitar, like a little easier and smoother to move along the fingerboard with your hands. So it's it's absolutely a nice touch. And uh, yeah, I picked this one up locally for a decent price and yeah, I wanted to try it out for sure. Let's just have a quick look at the back here. Some more look at that uh, gorgeous finish. On the neck plate, it says uh, it has the Fender F with Player Plus. And then there's our skunk stripe on the maple neck. It also comes with locking tuners, which is great. So these Fender locking tuners are quite high quality. I've used them before and I've never had an issue with them. They work great. So yeah, some nice appointments on this made in Mexico guitar. And uh, from what I've heard online, the pickups are supposed to sound really great. The noiseless pickups are supposed to sound like super clear and have a great voice. Um, and the humbucker is supposed to be super usable in the uh, split position too, which is sometimes hard to do on, with a coil split. They just don't sound quite right. This one's supposed to do it very well. So I guess we'll see when we put it on the bench. And uh, our neck pocket. Just having a quick look, it's super tight. There's no gaps at all, so yeah, it looks nice. Um, when I got it, the, fin the setup needs a little bit of work for me. I want it to be a little bit lower, and there's a little bit of fret wear, so we're gonna go ahead and polish the frets too. But let's get it on the bench and have a look at the parts and specs. Weighing in at eight pounds, three ounces. With the nut is 1.68. And at the 12th, a 2.01. Depth at the first fret is 0 0.90. And at the 12th fret, it's an 8.0 or 0 0.87. Which is kind of strange. Usually it's uh, narrower here and then chunks up a little bit over here and it's kind of the opposite on this neck. But it feels good. It's, uh, it's actually a satin neck as well. So it's uh, nice and smooth feeling. In the specs, they're calling this a modern C neck profile. 
And uh, yeah, I'd have to agree with it on the first fret. It's just that nice rounded C shape and it stays pretty round all the way up to the 12th. In terms of chunkiness, uh, yeah, it, it is a little chunkier here in the cowboy cord area and then it's, it uh, narrows out a little bit by the 12th. But uh, it sounds, it feels like a fairly f standard strat neck. Okay, pickup readings in the bridge position, the humbucker is reading a 7.53. In the split position, it's reading a 3.88. And then in our second position here, between the humbucker and this middle, we're reading a 4.36. In the middle, a 10.26. In the fourth position, a 5.13. And the neck is reading a 10.8. One five. Okay, having a quick look at our electronics and such. So I'm just going to remove this. Uh, first, let's have a look at our routes. So yeah, everything's looking nice and clean. Uh, one thing I noticed is that on the newer fenders, um, what they used to do is route the body before it was finished. And uh, there would be some problems associated with that. You get lots of buildup in the cavities and... It wouldn't look the best, but now it looks like they're finishing them first and then routing them. So they must have some sort of system that works better that way. But yeah, all the routes look super clean. And uh, there's a bunch of shielding paint and all everything. So and we've got our serial number there as well in the middle. And there is our router or our CNC kind of jig hole there. And it's got um, some factory markings. Output jack route looks very similar. Very clean and nothing in there in terms of finish or even sawdust. So they're doing a really nice job. There is uh, another serial there. There's a look at our players plus, our player plus noiseless pickups. And our humbucker is unbranded on the back except for some markers, markings. And we've got our full size pots, our uh, fender style switch. So, yeah, this all looks very high quality. It's got uh, full size everything. I think uh, some of the other fenders used to have like mini pots and like PCBs sometimes. Um, maybe not a PCB switch, but I think they always had the fender style switch, but yeah, all these electronics look nice and higher end and everything's soldered and wired up very nicely. We've got our tested sticker there and an, and an initial. So yeah, everything looks good. And here's our back cavity route, more of the same. Looks like three springs and a nice thick trim block there. Um, I got a magnet so yeah the magnet sticks to the springs but not to the trim block. It feels good quality but it might be potted metal or whatever. Alright just taking the neck off now to have a look at our neck pocket and whatnot. Neck pocket. Just some factory markings in there. Nice clean route and um, yeah it looks like there's a micro tilt adjustment hole but this guitar doesn't feature that and as far as the neck goes we've got some stamping here so it looks like it says July 9th 2021 with a serial number and another serial number here in the neck it looks like there is the micro tilt adjustment uh, capability there but it's just not installed on the guitar but no shims or anything in the cavity and everything looks as it should. It's got a, a nice tight fit into the into the neck pocket as well, which is nice. Uh, as far as condition goes, this guitar is mint. I can't really find a mark or a ding anywhere. I think you'd be hard pressed to find anything on here. Looks like it was barely played since new. And uh, Truss rods working good, nice and responsive. Let me get back in there. There we go. Yeah, nice and responsive, not too stiff. 
The one thing I did notice though is kind of a, a factory issue is um, the frets are kind of covered in finish. So this whole neck is like a nice satin feeling neck, um, but the fingerboard like on playing side is finished as well in that same satin finish. And it looks like they've gotten some of the, the polyester on the frets and that's kind of giving them a, a gold type of hue. So um, I'm just gonna quickly tape off the fretboard, run it through the buffer and just get rid of that. That's just a personal preference thing. It doesn't really affect anything other than slightly cosmetically. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Here's our nicely taped off fingerboard and we're gonna run it through the buffer to get that finish off the frets. So that was much more of a process than I anticipated. Um, it took a few times through the buffer to get all that finish off. It's a very thick finish and it sticks to the frets uh, pretty well. So it was a little difficult to get off. Um, so normally you just wear that down with normal play, but it might take a while. So if that's something that's an issue for you, I would uh, just keep that in mind if you're getting one of these guitars. Again, I'm not sure if I had a, a model that uh, has more on the finish than normal. Um, but yeah, there was a quite a bit on the finish that I had to get off, but now any spot where the String will touch the fret. There's no finish and uh, It's nice and shiny and super polished. So it should feel great to play All right, here it is re-strung strings are stretched intonated and set up we can see that uh, there's just a little bit of uh, gap between this notch straight edge and the fretboard so that means our neck is set nice and straight with a little bit of relief and over here we can see that when I fret the third fret we can see the first on the first fret the strings are nicely resting against there so that means we have a nicely cut nut we've got a 1.5 on the low E and just over one at the high E. So that's how I like to set my action. And uh, we have no buzz, which I'll show here. So yeah, nice low action, uh, plays great. Uh, the frets feel really nice. There are no fret sprout whatsoever and the rounded fingerboard feels great. feels like a nice, super vintage, like worn in guitar. All right, so we're plugged into the Deluxe Reverb reissue. I'm uh, set my volume at five, triples at five and a half, bass is at six and a half, reverb's at two. I'm using the Carl's Custom Guitars Speaker Soak Attenuator and I'm just running clean into the amp right now. We can check out how it all sounds with the humbuckers and the single coils clean and then with a little bit of dirt.
Yeah, so it sounds really nice clean. Um, there's one little nitpick about this is that uh, you, to, to uh, coil tap the humbucker, you have to pull up this tone knob. But uh, fender knobs aren't really designed to be like pulled like that because they kind of taper off at the top. So it kind of just slips out of your hand when you try. The only way to do it is kind of hook your nail underneath and pull it up. So it uh, takes a little getting used to, but it's okay. The other thing is, is that the, um, the taper for the tone, it's one of those potentiometers where the last 20% of the play in there does most of the work. I'll show you what I mean. So on the bridge pickup. Yeah, and that last 20%, that is all the tone difference. Yeah, the taper is kind of weird on that. Uh, some people might like it, but uh, for me, that's I don't really like that too much. But anyway, gonna do a little bit more picking on these. So I'm back to the bridge pickup. Okay, yeah, so it sounds quite nice clean. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of overdrive on there and see how that sounds. There's a lot of uh, different usable tones there in each position. Sounds quite nice. I'm just gonna find a position I like and just do some uh, riffing. Final thoughts on the 2021 uh, Player Plus Stratocaster in Cosmic Green. Yeah, it's very, very nice. The, the color is really, really great. I mean, look at that. It's just, it catches the light so nicely and uh, it just looks great along with that uh, three-ply mint pick guard. It looks really good. And um, the neck feels great. It's satin and rolled edges so really nice there's no fret sprout at all feels great to play i got it uh, the action nice and low on it and the pickups sound really good um the humbucker sounds like a really nice high-end humbucker that's uh very usable when split it sounds just like a a single coil 
You do get some of the 60 cycle hum uh, in the single coil on the back pickup because it's not a noiseless pickup. Um, so that's just something to be aware of. The two other pickups are noiseless so you can play them with distortion and they won't have that 60 cycle hum. Uh, the two point trim works very smooth and the guitar stays in tune well. And uh, yeah, it sounds good clean or dirty in every position. My only gripe with this guitar really was uh, the finish on the frets, which was a real pain to deal with to get it off. Um, I mean, you can just normally play it and it'll just come off eventually, but uh, it did look pretty bad when I first got it. Uh, I had to do a lot of work to buff all that stuff off. So it's nice now, but if that's something that might bug you, then I don't know if it was just this example or it's, it's just how they do them. But yeah, the uh, locking tuners were great too. They feel nice and tight, and they work well. And I really like that uh, the Fender logo on the front there, that kind of spaghetti metallic logo. Yeah, it's great. It's, uh, it's a good weight. It's made of quality materials. It sounds and plays really nice. So I think uh, Fender did a really good job on, on this series and, and this specific model as well. All right, so yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for tuning in to Beckler Guitars and Repair. If you're interested in this guitar, we're going to have it up on the Reverb page. Uh, other than that, I hope you have a great day. See ya.